What's good, y'all? Welcome to another edition of Call Outs TV. This is your boy, Jai. Let's talk about it. What we're going to talk about here today, we're going to get into this video reaction of OG Corey King and InfoMind. Shout out to InfoMind. InfoMind did an interview with Corey King yesterday. And I want to give my intake. You know, I have quite a few people that follow me. They hit me up on the gram and they want to know my opinion on the situation. So I'm going to give my unbiased opinion, and that's going to be that. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that like button. The like button don't cost you a thing, people. So they say. Peace, words to homie Timbo, man. Now we got the bro here. We got CK in the building. Yo, CK, do me a favor, introduce yourself to the people, man, for those that might not know you. What's good? You already know what it is, man. It's CK, Corey King, 212 with CK, Corey King, man, on YouTube. What's your opinion on WAG interviewing 6 ix 9 Because that's, 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 that's what the talk has been for the past two weeks now. Man, I see you had you had some you had some shit on your chest. You had a you had an um, opinion about it. So, um, what's your what's your opinion about Wack interviewing Six Nine? I think it's corny, man. Right? He intentionally goes out of his way to spite certain people. You know what I mean? I'm not really concerned with the Jim Jones situation, even though what he's saying is bad about Jimmy as well. But I just think he intentionally does these things. I won't even say for attention. I think he does it maybe more so for the bag, but when it comes to this culture, the D is not for sale, man. You know what I mean? Like Stop right there. Stop right there. Now, I just heard you mention, CK, that the B is not for sale. You are right. But did you mention that when Nuke, Harv, and Shadi was being money hungry? and they didn't think about their safety and they need a reason why they're locked up, they're the cause of their own demise. So you should be preaching that same thing to them, bro. Don't be mad because WAC 100 is an industry nigga. And he's just doing, he just, he's just trying to secure a lucrative bag for him and his family. He don't know you, Corey King, from a hole in the wall, man. This man lives on another coast, 5,000 miles away. And you just need to leave it like that and let Jim Jones, Jim Jones expose himself, okay? Jim Jones is the main reason why Shadi, Harv, and all them niggas is locked up because instead of Mel Murder being a boss nigga that I thought he was, instead of being a general, a five-star general, a ten-toes-down nigga like I thought he was, that same gangster nigga that I, that I thought he was from Jefferson and best I, he wasn't that. He was fucking sitting up there taking orders from a rapper, now we all thought for years that 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 we all thought for years that that fucking Mel Murder was the muscle behind Jim Jones. Mel Murder was supposed to be the nigga that was calling the shots. What the fuck is he doing on a wiretap, accepting orders from a fucking rapper? That's never lived that life. That's never been to jail. Jim Jones never did a day on the island. I don't even think 
I don't even think Jim Jones ever spent a day in the bookings in his life, bro. Like, Jim Jones is a college kid. Jim Jones is a good kid, bro. You know what I'm saying? I was just fortunate to run into Cam and Mason, them niggas, and you know what I'm saying? And he was able, it was able, his career and success was able to pan out for him the way he wanted it to because of who he associated himself with, and he got lucky. You know what I'm saying? But Mel Murder was supposed to know better. You can't sit up there, Corey King, and be upset at an industry nigga, all right? WAC 100 has several artists, okay, under his roster that has topped the Billboard 200. Now, from my knowledge, CK wants to do the same thing. And this is not coming out, CK. This is not throwing no shade at CK. I'm unbiased. We not choosing no side or none of that. So don't get me misconstrued with any of these other fucking YouTubers, man. Y'all know me since day one, since I came on the scene. Cole has been speaking his mind, speaking the way he fell without being unapologetic. We don't apologize for nothing we say. This is not what we do. Now, for those of you that's close and in tune to the situation, y'all do know that CK has been on YouTube and, he's, and he has gone at it with several other you know, blood members, several other, you know, OGs that's around his age. And every time he's gotten into an altercation with them, he's always end up apologizing. Like, come on, bro. Like, you making the Tauruses look bad. Like, I'm a Taurus, bro. And I'm always going to stand 10 toes, man, and never backtrack on what I say. A lot of the times when CK, when he get into altercations, there's several people that has called CK out. And CK has not answered the bell. But he's sitting here... Sniffing his nose in somebody else's backyard. When that whole that whole power rule and they, they whole blood set the way they bang and their lifestyle is totally different from what we do over here. You need to focus on brothers calling you out out here. All right. You need to focus on. I want to know why a, a guy named Devon. I don't know too much about this guy. I seen him a few times on YouTube on different platforms or whatever the case may be. But I don't know too much about him. But he was talking. He had a lot to say about you, CK and. And, like, things that was going on with you behind that G-Wall, man. You need to clean up your own backyard, man. Don't worry about what the next man is doing. He's an industry nigga. Let him get his bag. Let him do what he's doing. All right? 6 9 and all them other niggas do get their karma later on down the road, bro. But just stay focused and focus on what's going on on your coast. Instead of worrying about what's going on 5,000 fucking miles away. Yeah, you are checked in. You are checked in on the West Coast. But that don't mean that the West Coast is going to go against their own for a nigga like you. You see what they did to Biggie. You see what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like, you got to be easy, bro. You got to focus on what's going on out here. You want to jump in another man's beef. Jim Jones is a grown-ass fucking man. Jim Jones can handle his own fucking beef. Jim Jones didn't know exactly what he did. He was involved in that conspiracy case, and a lot of people like myself felt like he should have went down, and he's still here. That's all. All we want to know, all we want is an explanation from Jim Jones, all right? We don't want him calling up other men, other men that he fucking helped put behind bars, okay? He was a accomplice. He was an accomplice. He was a cold D in that situation on that wiretap. So he had to fucking snitch. He had to rap. Something is not right. And for you to sit there, CK, that's what a lot of these New York blood niggas do. They're getting everybody else's business, a whole nother coast politics that you don't know nothing about. You got to be careful, bro. You got to be careful, my nigga. Whack 100 is in the industry, bro. I'm pretty much sure if he wanted to, my nigga, he could put that bag up and have a nigga come do something to you, bro. I'm pretty much sure he could have that done to you, bro. Because the proof is in a pudding. Every time when the LA nigga come out here, he don't never check in. He go back home safely. Every time a New York nigga go out there, man, to LA, they always got to check in. And then something always end up happening to them where they get killed or they got to go to jail. It's always like that, bro. They don't even see jail on the West Coast. Most of the time, they just get smoked. Like, that's real nigga shit, bro. So, 
you know Jim Jones was wrong, Corey King, and the proof was in the pudding from that wiretap when he was telling Mel Murder on how he should go about dealing with 6 9 And when they say super duper violate, when he used that word super duper violate, that means that the smoke him. Get him out of here. See what I'm saying? So that's the reason why everybody is coming at Jim Jones, Corey King. You know why everybody's coming at him. But you need to be re-educated again. Because you want to sit up there and you want to fucking, you want to choose sides, bro. You want to choose sides, and my nigga, you're not being fair, bro. So that's why I have to come on and I have to give my opinion on this shit, bro. Because you know me, I'm going to tell it like it is, bro. Have you under oath and you took the same oath that everybody else took, bro? On the West Coast, whether it be one of us over here, on the East Coast. The beer is not for sale, man. You know, that's, it, 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 was a right, it was a rotten move. You know this dude told and not only altered but destroyed people's lives. I, even on my platform, I keep stressing the people. All right, let's say, hypothetically speaking, that Melly and him was guilty or whatever they was guilty for, right? But we all know Shotty wasn't guilty of that though. God, Shotty really was protecting this kid. Okay. And he and he tripped Shotty up in the game too. All right, let's say them dudes was take it from him, whatever case may be or whatever. We all heard them on tape as well, calling Shotty Roach. Oh, he a roach, he a leech, he a crab, this or that, because he wasn't participating. He was actually protecting young boys. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like it was a, a cornball move. I feel like, you know, it's like, as long as his mind, as long as the dude gonna break bread with me, I don't care if he's a rat or not. That ain't, that, that ain't how that go. You know okay, what I'm so you're saying that Shotty, Shotty was more or less going against some of his own comrades to hold down Takashi, and now he yeah. wind up getting the bad, the, the bad end of the deal. But um, what do you say to people that say that he there was allegations that he had um messed around with Takashi baby moms and all that type of shit? You know what I mean? Women do what they do. People allow allow coochie to come into play. Of basically common logic and good sense. Now Wax says he's not a rapper. He's not a gangster. He's a legitimate businessman. Now, so you don't feel that he can interview whoever he wants to because um after all you know he's a legitimate businessman. So he says. And he's also in the entertainment world. He says all is now, right? With Suge had interviewed Six Nine. Let's be real. He's he's a Suge Knight underling. Would Suge Knight had interview? Now, now, respectfully, beloved, you see how you said Whack One Hundred was under under Suge Knight, right? You was under Mac, and you crossed Mac. And then y'all all know what happened after that. Benji cut you, and that was the end of that. Now, this is not to take no shots at you, but we got to call spade for spade, bro. You a fellow Taurus like myself, and you making the Tauruses look bad out here. Every time that there's a confrontation that's presented to you, you never address it. You always end up apologizing. There's several situations involving CK where people done called him out. Like, there was a rumor going around with him and Mac murder. Y'all know what happened with him and Benji. Y'all know what happened with him and Mac. There's several other people that has called him out, and he's never responded. So, you need to clean up your own backyard and start worrying about another industry, nigga, man. And don't go over there on the West Coast playing with that man because you don't know what those people on the West Coast will do to you, bro. Because they're going to protect their own. That's one thing I know about West Coast people. 6 9 He may have squeezed and put the chokehold on him. He wouldn't interview him. Knowing what he argued would have never do on whether or not the dude should be in jail because he, he was heard on a tape recording. Takashi has said that during the academic interview that he has regular phone conversations with Suge. So which means that they got some type of interaction. I don't believe that. Because we already know I use I use Suge as an example. 
You did the same thing. You did the same. You did the same thing that fucking Wack One Hundred did to Suge Knight. You went against the grain. That's the same thing you tried to do with Mac, bro, because you wanted to take over the set. And niggas heard. Niggas wasn't having that shit, bro. Niggas clapped you, cut you in your face. And now you sitting here digging your nose in everybody else's dirty laundry and shit, and we got our own mess out here. You got your boy Scheme Team running around here fucked up, hungry, starving, living from fucking shelter to shelter, and you not even trying to reach out, and you supposed to be this nigga, this big money man. You flexing foreign designer bags and shit like that on live foreign designer shoes, but you can't even help your own little bro out that's fucked up. Ain't you blood? Ain't he blood? You know what I'm saying? You supposed to help that nigga out, bro. You supposed to help your man so your man's doing bad, bro. But instead, you want to sit up there and want to clout chase an industry nigga. If I was whack 100, I wouldn't pay you no motherfucking mind, man. You supposed to be out here helping the youth, doing positive things for the youth. You have not done anything positive that I have seen. I don't see you... I don't see you going to the communities. I don't see you doing um, community public speaking. I don't see you doing none of that. I don't see you doing none of that. With the, I don't see you around with um. What's that? What's the book? The Brooklyn Public Public it, man. The advocate. The book. Um, the public advocate. What's his name? Armani Williams. I don't see you out there with them. I don't see you out there with the um with the Brooklyn Borough President. I don't see you out there. I don't see you doing none of that, bro. All I see you is bragging about what juice you got on, and you just be doing too much, bro. Like, since you've been on this internet shit, like, in the beginning, I was following you and shit, you know what I'm saying? Because I thought you was trying to, you know, be a positive role model and shit like that for the youth, man. But once I started seeing you doing cloud chasing, bozo shit, bro, like, that's when I fell back from watching you, bro. Like on some G shit. The only reason why I'm reacting to this because I got supporters that want to know my opinion on this shit, son. So it is what it is, bro. Like you supposed to be a tourist like me. You supposed to represent. You know how us tourists are. We bullheaded. We stubborn. We speak from the heart, and we don't have no filter on our fucking tongue, bro. And right now, you being a poor representation of the bull gang, man. You being a poor representation. You got all these motherfucking people. You even have fucking Queens Flip. Now, Queens Flip look like he pure butt. That nigga look pure buns. That nigga look like a honey bun. That nigga look soft, bro. And you let that nigga call you out, bro. Come on, son. Like, you got to do better, my nigga. Queens Flip, my nigga? Come on, son. Queens Flip is a comedian, my nigga. You supposed to G-check that nigga from the door. You had that nigga son in you, bro. Come on, son. Then you had little, little, little back and forth shit with other people and shit like that on YouTube and shit like that. And you, they call you out, and you never, you never stand firm, man. At least if you gonna talk shit, my nigga, you gotta hold it down, my nigga. When niggas is bringing that energy to you, bro. That's all I'm saying, bro. Now, you're going to have people that's going to be in the comment section that's going to be like, you know, you going to have people that's rocking with you. I don't really have no problem with you. I'm just saying, like, just worry about what's going on out here. Don't worry about what's going on 5,000 miles away, bro. You don't got no control over what WAC, what WAC 100, what he want to do, how he want to secure his bag. That's his business. WAC 100 going to get his eventually, too. Because word around the campfire, WAC 100 is not good with the bounty hunters out in Nickerson Gardens. For anyone that's not familiar with Nickerson Gardens, that's a housing project out in Los Angeles, California, the home of the bounty hunter bloods. And they saying that WAC 100 is food. He can't go out there, man. So he'll get his. His people's a deal with him, Corey. You just got to worry about your own backyard, man. Shit was not even valid no more. You know what I mean? He had his time, and what come what come with you keep applying pressure. Eventually, the pressure bust pipe. He got knocked out. So we, as, as I, I use him as an example, that Sugar in his prime, his heyday, would not have no dealings whatsoever with six nine. We all know that. We seen doing the Snoop Dogg trial. 
It was a hush call. You think Snoop just beat the case? Not the Suge Knight, the broke. Suge Knight, I mean, I said Suge Knight. Snoop Dogg beat the case, Corey King, because he had Johnny Cochran, the greatest attorney of all time in my eyes. Real shit. That's the reason why he got off. In prison, Suge Knight right now, that's a need of friendship and company. We talking about Suge Knight. The 385 men Suge Knight in his heyday. So you saying that Suge Knight, you saying that it's possible that Suge is making an alliance with Takashi because you know Takashi out here in the world, he having money, and he might, he's probably yeah. someone, you know, even all the shit that he's going through, if I put him under my wing, it could be to- I'm, I'm gonna say, I wanna say something else too. Corey King, Killer Kev, Wild Rat, it's a lot of OG niggas, bro, that got on YouTube and turned the UBN Bloods into a clown side show. And this ain't no disrespect to the UBNs. But you found them for all this. Ever since that fucking Queens Flip interview, people have been looking at New York Bloods totally different. Because they've been like niggas on the West Coast been looking at us bad. But now it's even worse ever since that Queen's Flip interview. Now the New York Bloods has been exposed for real because of these 50-year-old dudes that came, that did a whole bunch of fucking time, came home and wanted to get on YouTube and clout chase. And they do not a motherfucking thing for their community, bro, but brag about how big the chain they got on or how big and what kind of watch they got on or what, what type of foreign they riding and that's all these motherfuckers worrying about. You see how 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 this shit, man, this shit just crumbled to pieces, bro. None of these homies is around. There's a lot of homies from that Queen's Flip interview that's not around no more. So, come on, bro. My, you know, working his events. Of course, you know Sugar Hurt. We all know Sugar Hurt right now. And ain't nobody taking care of Sugar. He going to what he going to do. And dudes couldn't even raise 10 men to, to, to bail him out. But all the money that, 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 that he didn't made for people and and he didn't went through. So that's to tell you right there, Sugar Hurt right now. You know what I mean? He don't got nothing going on right now. So of course, if he is talking to Sugar, that could be the only explanation. They know he's goofy and they talking to him for financial gain. Simply put, so that's to tell you something. You know what I mean, then. If 6 9 is a goofy, then what about all them other homie niggas that was fucking with him? They not goofies? Or you just want to just keep put, applying pressure on the young kid that don't really know no better? He don't know no better because he ain't been through nothing. He ain't been through no pain in life. He only was sitting up for two years. That ain't shit, bro. So he don't know nothing. He was a scared kid, man. Just looking for protection. And y'all can't even secure the bag the right way. Y'all made him feel uncomfortable. Y'all was stealing his money from his shows. Y'all was fucking his girl. Y'all was doing all type of shit, bro. I'm not condoning what that little nigga did. Somebody ain't gonna push his wig back one day. But you let his karma's gonna come. But y'all gonna fuck around. Y'all already locked up. And y'all calling DJ Academics talking about y'all got 1.5 mil up for a fight. So y'all still harassing the nigga. Y'all got y'all sentences handed down to y'all. And y'all still worrying about a rainbow hair kid, bro. So what does that show you about these niggas? These niggas have still got a lot of growing up to do at 40 plus years old, 50 plus years old. These niggas still got the mind of a high schooler, junior high schooler, bro. Where they got to respond to every fucking thing, man. And, you know, the combat, me calling them out to a boxing match for the culture, might, might I add. You bring up me going to my most of the moment over Pop Smoke. What was that? To get the West Coast to rally for you? What was that about? You know what I'm saying? Even yes or no, you're going to take the match or you're not going to take the match. Now, you said that you you, um, you called him out. Simple. 
you called them out to you know to get yeah. in the ring or whatever have you right now what led up to that what was it that wax said during that interview that you specifically took offense to because he don't know how to just address what he's addressing he do all kind of east coast east coast and whatever outside of whatever outside of our city we, we, we don't recognize it we don't see it he's throwing man shots my thing is man you talk so much simply put i want to fight him because i feel like he talked too much man i'm, I'm what they call a bully squash with dudes bully people i squash you you know what I mean? And he bullying on the internet, bothering people. And, uh, okay, you said when other people bully people, you squash it. All right, let me give you a little history of what happened, man, to my cousin in the 80s on Marcy Avenue, right? There was another, there was a female that was getting her ass with by her man. And he decided to intervene. You know what that nigga did? He pulled out a gun and shot my cousin dead in the head right there on the scene. My cousin bled to death and died right there. There's other situations similar to that. You cannot get involved with other people's fucking business. You have to mind your own business, bro. And that thing you did for Pop Smoke, you crying for Pop Smoke, that was a clown move. Because you didn't know Pop Smoke from a hole in the wall. All right? You old enough to be Pop Smoke's grandfather. So, you didn't know Pop Smoke, bro. So stop saying you knew Pop Small. Saying, Luce, I ain't the only person. Look at how many dudes is going at it. You think this is by chance? He ain't popular enough for nobody to want to cloud chase him like that. You said he's not popular for nobody to cloud chase him. How is he not popular? When he has a podcast with um with DJ Academics and 6 9 that's like the number one podcast right now on YouTube. So y'all cloud chasing him, if anything. Y'all hoping y'all get a response from him. I tell you, man, Wack 100 is an industry nigga now. He don't got to respond to you niggas, man. Let me ask you this. Do you feel that Wack has given 6 9 a new lease on life? Because he went from he went from rolling with Shadi and Mel and the whole Treyway, right? Now he got ties with Wack. And, and the world know that Wack um, is um, Pyru. So you think that 6 9 is trying to make a comeback by associating himself with Wack to be able to move around? Of course. Don't you get it? Shows, we know young boy, he showed a little money in there. But face it, 6 9, six nine did a couple little singles here and there. There's some decent streams. But he ain't dropped no album. He ain't doing shows. He can't do shows up here. So all he can do is try to troll people, troll people, then drop a single and hope to do 100, 100, 200, maybe even a billion. But you seem, but Corey King, I'm going to be honest with you, bro. You seem real jealous of WAC 100, bro. And let me say this because WAC 100 has not responded to you yet. You've made several videos, about three or four videos, cloud chasing this man. You wish he was in a position like him. Don't you don't you hold the title where you, you you trying to be a manager? You trying to manage artists and shit like that? Don't you got an artist from California? His name is Nitro or some shit like that. Come on, bro. You trying to do the same shit Wag One Hundred doing, but you want to tear him down, bro? Cause he trying to get it back. You wish you was in that position, bro. Dreams online and order and order to stay and stay relevant with the music, but face it. But Dell having somebody like Wack on, on his side, he can't do shows. He need Wack. And, I, and my thing is, I'm not mad at Wack taking the opportunity to get to his bag. It's when you did it. So then, what we? So then, if you're not mad at one Wack 100 for getting to the bags, then what are we talking about here? Why? Why are you even having? Why are you even having a sit down and an interview with with our? Uh, but info minds then, bro, if you're not mad. It seems to me like you're mad. Because if you wasn't mad, you wouldn't be telling another grown man that he got to check in when he get to your city. I don't like that word, check in. Check in is for them broke niggas. When you tell a nigga you got to cheat, got to check in is because you want to dick ride him and you looking for some money. You looking for an opportunity, bro. That's what that check in shit mean, bro. That ass. And you addressed it. 
you trying to put them on a podcast, you banging on real known bloods from the East Coast. We don't care what they were doing. The point is, they really blood though. All them dudes did they tell them, them dudes ain't telling nobody. They doing time like that. They kept their mouth up regardless of what happened, who did what. Look at Nuke. Nuke wasn't part of all that shit. Nuke got 15 years. When that shit happened to 6 9 Nuke was on a parole violation. They still wrapped that man up in the middle of that. He was the first one who, who really had the costume. They wrapped him too. Had he stayed with the original form, had he stayed with Nuke, he wouldn't have had those problems. See, he was being a little hip hop, a little hip hop. I ain't, well, HOE went around, hopping from dudes, then Shotty finally came home, and he other and Shotty. But before that, he was with Nuke, he was perfectly fine. Nobody wasn't questioning his integrity. They didn't care about the color for hair, none of that. It's when he left Nuke, it's when he originally lost his clout. I told Shotty personally, I said, yo, bro, I don't think it's a good idea for you to have him running down the old block in Chicago, all that shit. Yo, the dude is a money maggot. Get your money with him. Don't let dudes have a looking crazy. Pull it. Hey, hey, say that. Have dude pull a stunt. I went to I went to my little bro Sledge. Sledge he beat. Said yo Sledge, tell Shotty to slow that up. That young boy get his money. Stop on all the trolling and all the all that stuff. I told him that a long time ago. Cause I seen what was gonna happen. He was. They were going to get murdered somewhere in somebody else's city, or the feds were going to swoop in. I warned them a long time ago, so fall back over there, just get money with them. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That's that. I wasn't never really totally against it. I didn't like the lemon juice in the, in the white boy eye in the bus. Stuff like that. I didn't like none of that shit because I think it was like a mockery, mockery of blood or whatever the case may be, with them allowing them to do that type of stuff. But at least I did give the advice for them to, yo, slow down and let him be an artist. You think what I'm saying? Okay. I think, now, do I, do I think Jim Jones error? Of course I think he error. He had the opportunity to give them good, hitful advice, and he failed to do so. And in turn, he gave them negative advice, but I don't think, I don't think what he said was warranted, you know, war warranted for him to go to jail, though. All right, now look. He was saying, yo, being yeah. that you just mentioned, being that you just mentioned Jim, right? Now, leaving, mm -hmm. I, from, I, I got a question on that too. Now, the, Chauncey Dillon, he from Brooklyn. He sent me the yeah. paperwork. He sent me the paperwork where, it, um, you know, and, and, and it claims that that. Is... And you know what's crazy too? Y'all niggas is talking about six nines and informant, but Freaky Zeke told on niggas from Lennox Avenue that shot him in his ass and all that. Right. And he went on the stand and testified, and he put some real niggas behind the wall, bro. But y'all still chilling with him. And I've seen Freaky Zeke in videos with Mel Murder, Roe Murder, um, Shooter Nine Trey. Like, come on, bro. But y'all niggas is real niggas, but y'all got informants around y'all. But it's cool because y'all grew up with him, so it's okay, right? That um, Freaky Zeke had cooperated at one point in time. Now the critics say that why is Jim and others upset with Six Nine when you got somebody out your own camp that um, has also cooperated in the past as well? Do you feel that they being hypocritical? Of course, of course. From the from the gate. First of all, Jay Kwan, that's the dude who got the... I'm not going to make this a long interview just for the simple fact that it's raining heavily outside and the, and the rain is smacking against my AC. As y'all can hear, and that sound is really, really annoying. If it's annoying to me, I know it's annoying to y'all. So we're not going to make this video too long. That's my little man, he's from Albany and Cinema. He got the time, right? Of course I feel that way. And, and, I, and, I, and, and, I've, and now I've spoke my opinion to certain dudes. Before Freaky Ziki came home, I had to be around Ju Santana on the regular. Him, Black and Dawn, traveling, they come to Houston, checking with me in Houston. They went around having fun in the, in the hotel. I'm older than Jerry, all that. True, true fact, true story. So I started bringing that up. Everybody was like, 
So you can't really knock a, a, a dude for staying down for his team. Once you bring it up, what you know, you knew about it. You had heard about it, or the, the dude is my the, 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 the dude is my little bro. That's on time with Freaky Zeke. Okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's my Are you little saying that once you on. started, once you started voicing your opinion about that subject, that they kind of shied yeah. away from you? Yeah. Yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? So it is really, don't trust me, man. I, 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 don't, I don't, I don't turn them cheek. I don't condone bullshit. I brought it up. I said, yo, talking about six nine. I said, but Zeke, Zeke got an issue in his belt too. I got the paperwork too. But the dude, my, my, my man Nana is Jay Quan, bro. I'm in Nana every other day. You know what I mean? Me and Lil Bro talked about that. Like, yo, you see how you brought it up? They acting funny with you now? Yeah, because it's there, whatever. That they child friend. And I guess they feel because he's a child friend, it can be condoned. It can't be condoned. Tell him this, tell him no matter who do it. You know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, 6 9 chose to be a rat, right? Let him stay in the box where he belong at. Don't try to bring him back amongst everybody and make it seem like, oh, well, I'm a CK, so because he was CK, he Gucci now. That's my that's my argument. Like, come on. It I give you that. I give you that, CK. You got a point. You know what I'm saying? You got a point. Like, son is a rat. And y'all should leave him where he's at in the corner by himself. Whack 100 is bringing him back to life. But he's doing this shit because it's lucrative for him and his family. It can change his life. He can. It's going to gain him a little bit more celebrity now. That he interviewed 6 9 because 6 9 whether you like it or not, he's one of the biggest artists in the world, bro. Do I condone what he did? No. Do I condone what they did? No. Two rights don't make a wrong. Them dudes knew what they was getting themselves into. And now y'all all want to hold a pity party for them. It's ridiculous, man. It doesn't matter if it's me, if it's whack, none of us have enough clout to cover what he did. And guess what? I'm not even beefing for everybody. I'm really beefing more so for Shadi and Nuke. Why? You, Nuke is left, left it alone. Nuke, you know what? Shorty gonna be a problem. He fell back. Shadi started going hard for him, man, to the point where dudes that he knew his whole life, he started dissing himself, moving differently with 6 9 And I just feel like telling is telling there's no justification for it when you are a, a, a willing participant or whatever it is you're doing that created that indictment. But he didn't have no type of no type of sympathy or remorse whatsoever for Shadi, bro. And we all know they was turning on Shadi because they fully turned Shadi turned on them for him. And he did. He turned to everybody for six nine. You know, um Takashi yeah. been on Clubhouse. You know, going, going, you know, going in on people, you know, so whatever you call it. But if you notice, it's a, it's a big amount of people, the younger generation, that don't care nothing about who he told on, and they don't care nothing about none of that. Now he's become a, a, a personality outside of the music. Yeah. You know, what do you, what do you say about that? The people that that are accepting him with open arms because he be in the clubhouse, and the only person that really is. You know, you got some people come in randomly and, and, and get at them. But for the most part, you know, everybody's laughing at all his comments and everybody, you know, it's, you know, everybody's cheering them on. So, you know why? You feel about that? Bro. I don't feel nothing about it. They have a right. First of all, in my book, they're all civilians, right? Okay. They have a right to support that man. By all means. I'm not... I'm tired of I'm, I'm tired of niggas throwing that word around civilian. Well, because a nigga is a civilian, that don't mean he won't go hard and fuck something up or shoot something up or stab something up, nigga. I'm a civilian, but I dare nigga any nigga in the gang to try me, bro. I'm not Superman, but I dare nigga to come play with me, bro. And it's gonna be some shit, my nigga. You try me if you want. You gonna try the wrong civilian. You gonna get your ass lifted and sent to fuck up. Play around if you want with a with the wrong civilian and y'all gang members are gonna find out what civilian niggas is about. I hate on that, that that kid bag. I don't even hate the kid. You know what I'm saying? But 
you know, I just I remember I defended him one time online. You know, he's a little kid. They know he kind of slow, so they play with his mind. And you know what I mean? Made him feel like he was something that he wasn't. I went that far to the extent to say that part because really they said they shouldn't did that to him. They used him. They used him. Made him feel he was blood. They, they, they knew he really wasn't to get to get to a bag. So I'm not saying what they did it any different than what Rack is doing right now. But what I'm saying is, any civilian, any fan, male or female, by all means, if this your, if your favorite artist, support them. I'm talking about gang. Okay. See the difference here? <coughs> He's talking about gang. Whack, you gang. Or allegedly, you gang. Why would you do that? Why would you say, oh yeah, well, you know, you know, he was a kid and he was a civilian, not according to the the big red Yukon bandana style Yukon. That shit was wrapped into in the form of a bandana. Everything he had on was red. Every two words, you know what I mean? Blood, yeah, blood, yeah, blood. That's not that's not that's not what civilians do. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Now he just came to your my name is six nine. That's what's up, yeah, boom, 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 boom. And that happened. You can't really afford a civilian. He's, he want to paint the picture. Like, oh, nah. He was a civilian. Nah, bro. He was running around screaming blood. Every two words was, yeah, blood, for real, blood. I'm telling you, blood. Yeah, blood. Everything he had, red, snacks, all the so forth, bees on his chain, all that. In his mind, he was blood. His accent said something different. You know what I mean? He, and, 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 and the last part, he wasn't civilian. They played the mind folks, and they was wrong for that. But my thing is, don't. And you know, and you know what's the funny shit? What I was thinking about too, y'all. If CK and these other OGs that's from New York, if they was in the same position that Shadi, Nuke, and Harvin them niggas was in, and Roll and Crippy and all them niggas was in, and Melly was in, bro, they would have been. They would have went down with six nine two, bro. They would have made the same bad choice that those dudes made. So don't get it twisted, bro. These niggas just be talking because they got lips, my nigga. But they wish they they would have been if they. I'm telling you, bro. If they was allowed in them circles, if CK, CK wasn't allowed to go in them circles, as many niggas as he say, you know, he wasn't allowed to go in them circles. Well, his dumb ass would have been probably locked the fuck up too. Real nigga shit. Don't press him in people's face like it's okay, whack. You scream that you power all day. Be Paru, bro. No interaction whatsoever with an informant. I know Alpo personally. Do you see me talking to Alpo? Do you see me talking to Alpo? Because once he crossed that line, there's no coming back, bro. I'm not going to run him down and kill him, but I'm not going to fuck with him either. Now, CK, you know, what I'm now you know, you know, Wack does business in New York and on the East Coast. Now, I also believe that he has him and K Slay. Him and K Slay is real cool. They've been friends for a lot, for a lot of years now. Now, I saw a video where you were dressed whack and you said you'll pull up on him whenever he returns back to the East Coast. Do you still feel that same way or you don't have some time to, 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 to more, you know, think about the situation a little bit more? Of course I'm, 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 of course I'm pulling up on him. But my thing is. You're not pulling up on him. I'm going to be honest with you, CK. Wack 100, as much as he be doing lame shit and goofy shit, he talk goofy and shit at time. That nigga got a little heart, man. You not pulling up on that nigga, bro. That nigga just beat up three Mexicans by himself, bro. He got and he looked like he in a little bit more shape than you, bro. I'm just being fair, my nigga. He looked like he in a little bit more shape, bro. And the only reason why you don't want to pull up, you want to make a peace treaty. Just like you did with all the other confrontations you've been in on YouTube. You look for a peace treaty, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it wasn't that serious. I made it just a, for the culture. He chose to put the pop smoke shit up there and went a step further. All I said, yo, Wax, man, you seem to have so much disrespect for the East Coast. I put money up, 
I got 20 grand to say, I beat you in a boxing match. We gonna do it for the culture. Gloves up, guns down. Ah, oh, man, I don't believe none of this shit CK is saying, bro. Like, CK is not trying to get active with nobody, bro. Come on, son. You got to be in shape for that type of shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? You don't look like you did a push-up in years, man. You know what I'm saying? All the motherfucking heroes and shit, you be stuffing down that belly. Come on, son. You you not in shape, man, to fight no white 100 car. Just admit that you cloud chasing him and you looking for a little cloud, bro. Just be honest, my nigga. You want him to say your name, bro. He went somewhere else and put the death of a young boy from New York. When me going to my motion, you tell me how should I handle that? Obviously, he thinks that this is some, this is some real internet troll playing shit. So how should how should that be handled? So now you saying that you was you was um you wanted to do it for the coach. It wasn't nothing nothing, nothing past y'all getting in the ring and duking it out, whatever Yo, the case might be. It. Hey, this is to me, Timbo. We said it. Guns down, gloves up. True. To show to show the youth that to show the youth that. And, and we can't resolve it with words. You can shoot at it, or shoot it, and then after that's over, with, you live to see them all. We said all that. He did all that. Probably thinking it's a game. I'm, I'm sure about this. So, what happened, CK, when several of your peers called you out? These dudes is around your age, and they said that you was doing a lot of mook shit. A lot. You was get, you was engaging in a lot of mook activities. Why you never yet? to set a date and time and address to pull up and, and, and settle whoever's disrespecting your manhood like that. Talking about you fucking with another nigga. Pause. Why you don't never address those niggas, bro? You worrying about a nigga that's an industry manager and he got more money than you, bro. And he ain't gonna, ain't nobody gonna let nothing happen to that nigga, bro. That nigga well protected, bro. You're going to have to speak to a third party to get next to that nigga, bro. No cap. Now, Chris got here. Somebody called him. Like, yo, bro, yo, you know, son ain't really the one to be playing with like that, right? Somebody called him. K-Sway probably called him. Like, yo, she can't the one for that, bro. They said you see these kids online. Oh. So if they saying that CK is not the one for that, then you should have been sending your hitters when that when 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 the dude when a guy named Devon got up on the internet and on several other platforms and said that you was a mook and that you was doing a lot of mook shit in the yard and in the prison yards and in them fucking jail cells and them prison cells, bro. You was doing a lot of mook shit according to them. I don't know. I wasn't there. You dudes got me by like twenty five years, thirty years. You got like thirty years over me, bro. Maybe more than that. See what I'm saying? So, I don't know. But I do know that there's been people that's called Corey King out on several occasions. And he always apologizes. Oh, CK, yo, you just said, uh, CK, you just said that. But those are kids, those are children. But, Wack, you a grown man. I'm a grown man. I'm really from the streets. You see where I'm at right now? I'm a BK right now in the heart. He sent me his number, bro. He gave me his number. And my, and my IG, yo, CK, call me, bro. Remember, I first did it. I said, yo, Rack 100, you and Blueface making this scene like it's a joke that little bro lost his life. And when he seen the video, he hit me on Instagram. Yo, bro, holla at me. We talk. So now once we talk, just being totally honest with you, now I'm like, you know what? Rack ain't a bad dude. Yo, listen, man. You come to LA, holla at me, man. I come to New York. I'm going to holler at you. I spoke to him again in Quad Studio. It was all love. Okay. And then he put that up. See, that's where you got it fucked up, Corey King. It was never all love. Them West Coast niggas never respected no East Coast blood. They look at us as the infiltrators. They don't look at us as original. 
even though we was doing our own thing in them jails and tearing shit up in 93 and, and all that, but still, them niggas don't respect us as the original, bro. So, stop thinking that these dudes from the West Coast has, has got so much love for you to the extent where they'll jump in front of a bullet for you because they not, bro. They gonna protect their own. Believe that. Online, like, oh yeah, I told him I don't give a fuck about his apology. I never apologized to you, bro. Mm. We agreed. We agreed it wasn't about nothing, and we moved forward. I never said, yo, my bad. I never said sorry. I said, yeah. So well, what was the tone? What was the tone of the conversation, though? What, what, you know, what, what was the temperature like? What was his vibe when y'all, while y'all was talking? He was vibing with me. We was chopping it up. Okay. We was kicking it. Okay. Now speaking on checking in, now some people say that this band culture, the check-in culture, it's an LA thing and it doesn't work. Yeah, man, that, that checking in shit, I don't, I don't, that checking in shit mean you broke. When you asking another grown man to check in, that mean you broke and you looking for something. You want a dick ride. You want to be a fan. You want an autograph. What grown man going to check in? Check in where? That sound like extortion to me when, when any time any somebody mentions a check in. Who the fuck I'm, I ain't checking in with nobody. I'm a grown fucking man. Who the fuck I'm checking in with? In New York, because the politics in New York is, is different. It don't matter who you check in with. If you got a problem with somebody, it is, they it don't care. It. Nigga, and nigga, what well, shit? Where well, I'm from, niggas don't even check in on parole or probation. Who makes you think a nigga gonna check in to a whole nother grown man in another city or somewhere? Yeah, they say don't go there. I don't need to go there. Ain't nothing private over there that ain't that 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 I can't do in my own city, bro. This is the big city. This is Gotham City, bro. This is the city of big dreams, man. The city of hopes and dreams. So. I could get what I could get here at my hometown. I can't get nowhere else. So I don't need to go to L.A. Like a lot of these niggas from the town, from Brooklyn or wherever, the five brothers, they get a little rap money. They want to go move to California. They want to go move in the hills. Instead of taking their bread and go get a house out in Long Island somewhere and stay close home, stay close to home. That way if something go down, you know you... You got your peoples that's close by that could get to you in case something go down. Come on, son. These young niggas don't think, bro. And that's why they don't think because they got old niggas, OG niggas like you that's running around on the internet cloud chasing. You still thinking that you 18, 19, 20 years old, bro. And you 55, you 50 plus, man. Come on, son. But hear me, hear me. That's a lie. It didn't. It didn't. It didn't start in L.A. Now, let, me, huh? let me let me finish my question. Now they're saying that it started at that. That's the L.A. thing, and those politics yeah. don't hold weight in New York City. Now, we seen we haven't seen L.A. rappers getting murdered in New York, but we have seen New York rappers getting violated in L.A. Nah. First of all, it didn't start. It didn't start in L.A., bro. Since the eighties. When we was really on that robbing and still and all that shit, when dudes came, you know what time it is, you're from, you, you're from the town. When dudes came in, you know it was a 99% chance they was leaving without, without their hardware and all that because they came through and didn't pay homage to the natives. And depending on who they was years with. Years later, yeah, thank you. You gotta be with but somebody that was strong. Yeah, exactly. But years later, it just became a mutual respect thing that, yo, listen, if you check in, they ain't checking with you. And they come around us, Flatbush, East New York, the goons is out. Oh, yo, nah, yo, they were Timbo. All right, you know, they was good. You know what I'm saying? They was good. Yo, I'm done with this, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. It's like, I got about like, 15 more minutes of this shit, but I'm just going to let it go. I'm not going to let it play through the whole 38 minutes, man. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like button and y'all subscribe, and we got more content on the way.